morning, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about dialysis adequacy. And you might say, Stephanie, what is dialysis adequacy? Patients always want to know, why do I have to run four plus hours, Stephanie? It's too long. I want to have other stuff to do. Remember, in my previous videos, I discussed what dialysis does. Dialysis mimics the natural functions of the kidneys. Our natural kidneys remove fluid from the body and remove poisons from the body. When the kidneys don't work, dialysis is necessary for patients to live. Dialysis removes fluid from the body and removes poisons from the body while the person that blood is being processed on the machine. So we just don't put patients on the machine and run them for treatments after treatment, never measuring how well we're actually cleaning the person's blood. So there's a, there's a blood calculation that we do monthly, and it's called the KT over V. The K in the, in the equation is how well the kidney that we're using, the artificial kidney, clears away poisons from the patient's body. The T is how long the person runs on the machine in minutes. And the V in the equation is the blood volume the patient has. Someone who's larger is going to have a larger blood volume. Someone who's smaller is going to have a smaller blood volume. So the goal of dialysis is to process the patient's blood one complete time. All of the blood is processed through this kidney one time and then one-fifth one-fifth of their blood is processed, if that makes sense. That's why it comes out to 1.2 or greater. The greater the KT over V number is, the better the treatment. We don't want someone to have a KT over V of like 12, you know, because they're going to have to stay on the machine like 24 hours a day. So around about four, four and a half hours, the average patient runs on the machine. Then we measure, you know, how well we clean their blood, and that gives us the adequacy. Another number we look at is called the urea reduction ratio. That's the URR. When the person first gets on the machine, we draw a pre-bun, which is the blood urea nitrogen. We draw a post-bun, which is the blood urea nitrogen, and we figure out how much percentage was removed. The goal is to do 65% or better. So at a particular time, we removed 65% of the urea, which is a major poison that we produce daily, out of the patient's blood in order for them to live and function and be healthy. So when we look at those two numbers, the KT over V and the URR, that lets us know, is the patient getting good dialysis? Do we need to tweak certain things with their treatment? Because there are about five factors that determine a person's adequacy. Number one, how long they run on the machine. What type of permanent access do they have and is it working properly? The blood flow rate, how fast the blood is processing through the machine. The dialysate flow rate. The dialysate is the cleaning solution that the patient's blood runs against a permeable membrane and the toxins go across this membrane. The blood is on one side, the dialysate is on the other side and through osmosis and diffusion, things can move from the higher concentration to the lower concentration. So those factors that I mentioned determine how well we're actually cleaning the person's blood. So when patients ask me, Stephanie, why do I have to run four hours and 45 minutes? I'll say, well, because of the dialyzer you're on, because of how long you run, because of your access, all of those things determine how long you need to run on the machine so that we can get an adequate cleaning from the patient's blood. Because like I mentioned before, the kidneys remove toxins and poisons and the artificial filter removes toxins and poisons. So we want the patients to be healthy, to feel good, and to have a good appetite because if you don't get a good cleaning, that can increase your mortality rate, which means patients, patients can pass away quicker if they don't get their blood cleaned properly. Patients are hospitalized more that don't have a good adequate, adequate cleaning. Patients um, 
don't have a good appetite, they're hospitalized more, the risk of infection is higher, they're more anemic when they don't have a good cleaning. A lot of things are affected in the patient's life, quality of life, are affected when they don't get a good cleaning. So it's really, really important for patients to understand why we, we need for them to stay on the machine so long and also why it's important because it's important for their health. So I hope I didn't make this video too long and I hope you had a better understanding of adequacy and why patients need to run as long as they need to run. So if you want to leave a comment below, I would really appreciate it. I take a lot of time to do these videos and I want them to be informative and helpful to dialysis patients and support persons and loved ones of patients so they can really get information and benefit themselves. And I appreciate anyone who subscribed to my channel and I, if you could like, share these videos, I really, really will appreciate it. And please stay tuned for my next video and I'll be discussing important topics for dialysis patients. Thank you for watching. <laughs>